Martika here with Martika J Makes and coming to you with not only my first Make 9 pattern, but another review and a review I absolutely love. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back and thank you guys so much for joining me. So today we are talking about, yes, this top I am wearing. I am so, so happy with the outcome of this sweater, you guys. Sweater, top, whatever. I mean, this one right here just, I don't even know how I can top this one. I'm sure I can, but you guys, this was not only one of the easiest patterns to make, but it was so enjoyable. Definitely, if you're a beginner, you can get this done in a day. If you are intermediate to advanced, you can get this done probably in a couple, two or three hours or so. It was very, very, very simple. Now, I had to break mine up due to time and other uh, responsibilities, so I had to break mine up over a course of two days, and sometimes you just have to do that. But all together, it was so simple. And we are talking about simplicity 9679. I'm going to scoot over here so you guys can see this pattern. You guys, I am so pleased with everything about it. I really don't have any complaints about this pattern. So if this is one that you have or if this is one that you've been thinking about picking up, do it. Okay? Do it, do it, do it. You will not be disappointed. I did make view C. And that is the view that you see that the model is wearing. And uh, I also am going to do view A. And that is with, you know, the balloon, not the balloon, but more of the loose sleeves with the cuff at the bottom. And it's also more uh, closed in. There's not a, a drop off shoulder on that. So then you have a sleeveless version. And then, of course, view C, which is what you see. So I did view C, as you can see. And you guys, I'm serious. I love this. So let me give you some details on it. So first of all, uh, the fabric that it calls for are stretch knits only, pretty much, such as cotton knits, interlock, jersey, sweater knits, bamboo, and rayon knit. You guys, not only um, is this a great knit, as you can see, I use this gray uh, like rib knit. Um, it's actually, let me put it up a little bit closer. It is a rib knit. It's very soft. It's not thick. It's not too thin. It is one of those perfect fabrics. I got like two yards of this at Walmart. Um, I think it was $4, if I'm not mistaken. And I am just, I'm blown away by that still. But to make a top that looks this good for four bucks, if you want to add the $2 that I paid for the pattern, six bucks, still under $10, cannot be beat, okay? Um the size that I picked up is size 12 through 20. And I like that size range because it kind of fits almost everybody in there. This is an easy to sew pattern. As you can see right there, it's an easy to sew. I love looking for the easy to sew patterns too, because not only are they easy guys, but they're also very hackable. Okay, so this is one that I showed you in my Make 9 video. And I told you that I was going to hack this into a dress. So I have, of course, a ton of knit fabric because I love this so much. I'm definitely going to do another one. I'm going to hack it in a dress. I'm going to do more tops too. And I'm also going to do a sew along for this one. All right. So just know that that is coming up really, really soon. So the size that I ended up cutting due to my bust measurements, I cut out a size 14. And I cut that out all the way down, uh, even due to the waist measurements, I cut it down. If you did have to adjust, say, that waist up or down due to your measurements, it would be pretty simple to do so, okay? Um, this call, this only had six pieces to it. Six pieces, you guys. So easy, so quick. Um, the fabric, like I said, that I use, you want to make sure that it's a stretch knit, okay? You have your little uh, chart there at the bottom that you always have to show 
you know, um, if it has enough stretch in it. So you definitely want to uh, take your knit and make sure that it does have that right amount of stretch in it that's needed. Um, what else can I say about this pattern? Did it come out to look like the top? You guys, I'm going to move over a little bit so that you can see more photos or some photos of this, okay? Um, I'm telling you, it's this top is just amazing. You do have to uh, do like a strapless bra with it. Uh, if you have those adjustable bras like I have, most strapless bras come with like the uh, straps that you can do like halters and the one sided. You can easily do like uh, the, the one that comes around one side with this top, okay? Um, that's another thing that I love about it. So you don't have to be totally strapless if you're not comfortable with that. If you have those adjustable straps, you can adjust it to where the one comes right from uh, over here to from this hook to around the neck to the back side to the other hook. So yeah, if you just want a little bit of support there, you can do that. Um, as far as trying this out in like other types of fabrics, I probably would not. I don't know. Well, I won't say that I would not, but I'm not sure that a woven fabric would give me the snatch back that I need on this. I'm not sure that, you know, it would drag you. It would definitely have to be some cutting down in areas so that it would lay right. Okay. Um, what else can I say? I'm telling you guys, I have nothing, nothing negative to say about this pattern at all. Uh, I'm just letting you, you know, kind of view the photos there and um yeah, just enjoy. If you have any um any reserve about, you know, doing any shoulder off or any cutouts or anything like that, you guys, this is very comfortable to wear even if you're more of a person who's, you know, always covering up and everything you still feel covered, okay? Uh, as you can see, the cleavage totally covered. You do have this peekaboo here that I am absolutely loving. And then you also have it going to the back too. And like I said, you can still comfortably wear your bra underneath. So you cannot beat that, ladies, all right? You cannot beat that when it comes to this top. It is just like an A++++ in my book. So I hope you have enjoyed this review, and I hope that you give this top a try for yourself. Uh, do some hacking with it. It's so many ideas I have in mind for this top alone. Um, just so many things that you can do with it to just kind of level it up a little bit. So yeah, make it yours. Uh, make it if you need to adjust, you know, in the waist or anything, it's easy to do that um, if you need to. Um, as I continue to drop a few pounds, I'm probably going to need to make some adjustments. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, you will not be disappointed. I promise you, you will not. And this uh, was also my entry to the into Sawyer View. This was the make for January. I just ran a little late getting it done due to some other uh, obligations. However, I got it done. So if you have not participated in Sawyer View, go to Instagram and look for Sawyer View because there is a new pattern up for this month for whoever wants to participate. It just keeps us motivated, keeps us uh, sewing into patterns that we have. And a lot of times the patterns that is put up is patterns that a lot of us already have in our stash. So definitely go and check that out. So anyway, I will see you all in the next video. And I will talk to you really soon. Happy sewing. Bye-bye.